No. Signori, è, è, è l'attack che uh. Paul Warren ha messo sul callo. Yeah, uh. no problem. No problem. A little blood. No problem good. because you are? Because I'm fucking crazy. I'm fucking crazy. I'm fucking crazy. Okay. I'm completely out of my mind. Thank you very much. Good man. <laughs> and, a, and a wonderful food too. Thank you very much. Because it won't be, there will be no lunch here because there will be no club here tomorrow. Yes, I know. Because I burn it down tonight. I know. Dammi il via. Via. Ah, era già via. Buonasera. Eh, buongiorno, non so a chi ora la state vedendo questa intervista, per cui. Siamo qui al Moody Jazz Cafe dopo il concerto tenuto ieri sera dal grande. Paul Warren e dalla sua band. È stato un concerto coinvolgente, eh, distruggente, eh, stravolgente, insomma c'era pure tanta gente e adesso faremo un'intervista, una piccola intervista al caro Paul Warren. Good morning Paul. Oh, buongiorno. So, tell us about the concert in at the Moody Jazz Cafe, oh, yes. Uh, there was a, the place was packed. The owner's crazy. The owner of the club was absolutely insane. Um, but he fed us very nicely. The people were the best audience we've had in all of Italy. In the last two weeks we've done seven shows. By far the best audience here. Dancing, screaming, very, very nice. All the people in the club here were also nice. <laughs> Okay. And so, um, <clears throat> tell, tell, tell us about the difference of um, a club and a, a big theater, a, a big stage. Okay. So with uh, Ross Stewart, Joe Cocker, Tim Turner, and uh, the, the, the difference and the same. What, what is different <laughs> and what is the same? Okay. The biggest difference is the, the band plays very close together in the smaller room. Last night, before we played, I spoke to the drummer and I said, this is going to be great. I, I'm going to be able to hear you very well. I could feel when he played. And uh, so we play tighter, we play better together when you're, when you're very close, when you're spread out. Even if you have the sound, like with Rod Stewart, we use headphones. Everything's through headphones. And I can have control of my sound. But it's just not the same as like being able to feel the drums and all that. Um, also, in, the, uh, in a smaller venue like this, you can see the people's eyes, you can see their smiles, you really connect with them. And a bigger place, maybe you see the first three rows, and then it's just bodies after that. You can't really have an intimate experience. So it's far more intimate and more enjoyable for me to play in a smaller place. And uh, tell us if you want some, uh, something uh, uh, funny, funny things about uh, Two or three, uh, um, 
scusate, eh, ho detto, no, riprendi, riprendi, two o tre, bellissima. Uh, two o tre, <laughs> yeah, two o tre artisti uh, with you play. Ok, um, well, all right, let's see. Um, Tina Turner taught me a lot when I was, uh, when I worked with her, I would, because uh, at the time I used to uh, maybe party sometimes, stay up late, and uh, I'd be very tired. And she's quite a bit older than I am, even though I'm, I'm quite old. She's almost, she's around 70 something now. Um, but I would watch her, and uh, if I was tired, she would be moving and kicking and jumping and spinning. And I'd always say, if she can do it, I can do it. So I took away from that experience, that attitude. Always give your best. If there's four people, play like there's 400,000 people. And always give your best, every night, because there might not be another night. Every show is the only show that ever happened. Uh, with Rod, um, for example, um, I've watched him. He had uh, cancer in his throat and had an operation. And he was not sure if he would ever sing again. And I watched him slowly gain his strength back uh, on tour. It was very difficult for him. And, uh, but he never gave up, always fighting, always trying. And now he shows up for a show two hours before. He sings along with a, a recording and warms up like karaoke for two hours every night because he wants to give his best. So uh, those are the things, that, the, the professionals like that, those are the things that I take with me and I try to learn from that um, the show is the most important thing. The audiences are very precious and they mean, the, the relationship with the audience is very important and always give them 100%. Uh, we were very tired yesterday. Uh, been working hard and I don't sleep so well sometimes and uh, we came in and I mean we would always give our best. Of course your energy was very helpful. Your energy and your, your, the way you treated us was, you know, we've got it. We had to give you everything. There was no way we couldn't. It would be an insult after the way you treated us. So, anyway. We hope you come back in Italy. Will you come back in Italy? I, you can't keep me away. I'll definitely be back. And I hope to come back next year and every year for the rest of my life, if possible, because the audiences have been phenomenal. I'm over here. Okay. Uh, the audience has been fantastic, and we definitely will want to come back. Absolutely. The last question. You know the microphone is false? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes, I do, of course. But I like it. It's okay. It makes me feel important. Thank you, Paul. I love you. Thank you. I, I very much. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Nino. È tutto dal Moody Jazz Cafe. Right. I'm fucking crazy.